Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Design Dynamo. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to replace a boring sky in your photos with something more dramatic and interesting using Photoshop 2024. This is a great technique for enhancing your landscapes or adding a more creative touch to your images. So let's you get started. Adobe Photoshop has a tool specifically designed to replace skies and photos. It's called the sky replacement tool. So number one method is to replace the sky is with the help of a sky replacement tool. So here you'll see this image. I downloaded from Adobe Stock. So let's replace the sky with the help of a sky replacement tool. So number one, uh, this is the powerful feature, which is fast and easy method to replace the sky that helps you enhance your image no matter what the weather was doing during your shoot. So the sky placement tool uses artificial intelligence powered by Adobe Sensei to insert a new sky in a place of the sky in the original image. So changing the sky, you just go to edit and go to a sky replacement. Here you will find this option, sky replacement, click this. Adobe Photoshop offers a collection of skies organized in three categories. So here you will see blue skies, spectacular here, you will see. And the third one is sunset. So blue skies, uh, especially uh, which is uh, here you'll see the blue skies which is uh, included the daytime in solid blue color. Or with the blue clouds. So and the downside you'll see the spectacular which is colorful range uh, dramatic storm clouds and sunscapes to rainbows. Uh, and a night uh, sky, just like, so you'll see. And the sunset preset, you'll see the features yellow, orange, pink, and red sunset hues. And now guys here you'll see when you select your desired output for example if you like this one uh, or this option and here you will see you further enhance or alter your sky replacement so here uh, you'll see the some options to adjust uh, your uh, sun uh, for example here you use the shift slider to create a distance between the foreground image and the sky so you can change it from uh, here as well and uh, you can use uh, fade option fade edges you can change the brightness from here you can change the temperature you can scale the sky and flip it as well <laughs> And here is the lighting mode. You can change the screen mode to multiply, which is look better in your image. You can change the foreground lighting, color adjustment. And downside, you'll see the output option. Make sure you'll select new layers. So it will create a new layer and hit OK and go to layers and here uh, guys you'll see a new sky layer is created this is before and this is after i'll show you all layers are created here and this is super easy and fast method to replace the sky with the help of red sky replacement tool now guys the second method is to replace a sky i'm going to use generative fill artificial intelligence to change the sky so all we need to do to select our subject so here i'm going to select the sky so there is option go to select and here photoshop will give you an option to select the sky so i'm going to click sky 
and just zoom it a little bit and here you will see our some selections so further uh, re refine your selection so i'm going to select object selection tool here in the tool panel and uh, i'm going to select option to minus this selection deselect these areas check it out our image i think is this one is totally deselected and uh, go to here you will see this slider modify selection so i'm going to contract the selection a little bit contract that pixel and uh, go to generate a fill here you will find generate a fill and i'm going to type a prompt dark cloudy sky and hit generate and let's check it out uh, the variations go to properties and here you'll see three variations for uh, generative fill by, by using generative fill we create uh, this sky and look at this guys the power of generative ai and you'll select which variation you like I think I like this one and let's uh, further fine-tune our subject so here what I will need to do just go to layers and hide this our cloud layer and select our background layer and uh, I'm just going to select our subject and simply copy our subject and go to layer back and enable this layer and paste this top layer and here just i'm going to select this layer mask select a brush tool and just going to paint over to deselect some And now guys, it is perfectly fine by using generative fill, we change the sky and this look very stunning. Now guys, let's take another example and this image you'll see the picture is full of clouds and uh, we need to change the sky with uh, some dramatic like yellow, orange and this type of shades. So simple, go to edit and select sky replacement. And here you will find sky. And here you look at this guys, how easy and fast you can change the sky. And uh, let's check it out some more Ye uh, yellow and uh, blue. And this one is also awesome. And now guys, if you have your own sky, so you can import it, your own sky. So here there is an option. You just select it and here you will see this plus icon. So you can uh, import sky images from here. So I have few images, so I'm going to import it from here. And here it is guys and I am going to use these sky in this image how easily you can replace the sky by using your own images and I import this image and this image so click OK and here you'll see there is the final result and uh, this is all about how to change uh, sky in photoshop by using sky replacement tool or generative for ai i hope you like this video and uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos thanks for watching design dynamo